Today we're gonna to be going over how to make your Flare 58 into a decent espresso machine. But before we do that, I just wanna say welcome to Kabin's Coffee Corner. This channel is designed to help you choose the coffee gear you wanna brew with at home. If you could go ahead and like and subscribe, that really helps me produce more content. Um, so this is the Flare 58 Plus. It's the new flagship one. This will work on any of the Flare 58s as well as some of the other lineups in Flare. Uh, but basically what this device does is it's called the press sensor and it basically replaces your pressure gauge. So it gives you statistical readouts of everything um, about your shot onto your phone, your Android or Apple phone or iPad, however you wanna do it. Um, you need it in a Kaya scale and you need an adapter and you need this uh, Bluetooth transmitter. So this company is called Press Sensor and it was made by Mikolas. I apologize if I mispronounced that. Um, it's over an overseas company and basically this might sound familiar to the Smart Espresso Profiler. Um, by a person named Gabor in Mikolas. And what happened was these companies kind of decided to part ways. Um, uh, one of them decided to do, wanted to do one way and the other one wanted to do uh, the other way. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of hurt feelings on it, but they made this thing together called the Smart Espresso Profiler, which was this Bluetooth transmitter that connected to espresso machines, connected to your scale and connected to your phone, giving you these statistical readouts. The problem with it is in the US that thing costs like over $500 and you had to get special batteries that cost $25 a piece plus $25 to ship them from overseas to the US. So it was like $50 to replace the battery. And it was just very, very difficult to recommend something that cost just as much as the flare itself. Um, but then they kind of parted ways and Mikolas started his own company called Press Sensor and he basically reinvented this translucer for the flare and for some other espresso machines and it's a fraction of the cost and the cost of it is around $350 so it took off $150 of it plus the batteries are um, standard batteries and I'll try to show you uh, what those look like but you can basically go to any place and buy them Amazon Walmart Target wherever you want to go will sell these batteries for like six bucks they're like the little circle ones um, and it works super well. I think they're 2032, if that uh, serves me correctly. But basically, the purpose of this is it replaces your pressure gauge and then gives you readouts on your phone so you can duplicate things and basically kind of make your own recipes for your coffee. And then you can mark things as your favorite on it. So I wanna go ahead and I'm gonna brew a shot with the Flare 58. And I'm going to go ahead and try to put on the screen what that looks like. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about some of the differences of the press sensor and the, S, the Smart Espresso Profiler. I do not have the Smart Espresso Profiler on me. Um, I did sell that a while back and I'll explain some of the reasons why on that and um, kind of go over all of that. So let's get this pulled up here. And you will need an Akaya Lunar Scale for this in order to make it work. All right, so we can see that you go over here and connect the pressure gauge and connect the Akaya. Sometimes this automatically does it, sometimes, yeah. It just kind of depends on it. Um, but as soon as it starts flashing, um, sometimes it takes longer, sometimes it takes quicker. It just kind of depends. Um, maybe I had a lot of apps open, so maybe that could be it. Let's try that again. And we got the Kaya, and we got the pressure. Um, so that was pretty quick in comparison to some of the other things. Um, but so what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and slowly lift the handle of the flare and then we are going to pull our shot and you should start seeing it, it automatically read out on that and behind it you'll see the old readout and the new readout and you can change the old one based off of how you want to do it. The flare is a lot different to pull a shot when you're sitting down. You have the automatic pressure readout the battery life, the weight, the time, the flow out per grams per second, and the brew ratio. And there we go, we got my 37 grams out, so close to the one to two ratio, and you can kind of uh, see that brew ratio is 206% versus 200%. And next, and you're all done here, and that is your shot of espresso, and then you're going to go ahead and switch your cups because you're using a flare and purge the rest of that out. 
and it automatically started another one because I didn't shut it off. Uh, but you can see how quickly that reads it out. Um, so I want to go over a couple different things with this. Um, the app and everything works pretty well. You can see that there was a few glitches in there where it kind of moved. Um, I've seen that problem a little bit. Um, I have not told them about it, but I'm sure that that will be resolved eventually. I'm not really too concerned about that um, in comparison. Um, you can see the history of all your shots of uh, pulling shots with this thing, and you can mark whatever your favorite are, uh, are and you can edit it and set it as a reference, share it with a friend. You can put the beans, your roasting date, all the information on there. So basically you can re-duplicate a shot. Um, so one of the nice things about this is say like, I kind of wish I would have done this um, before, um, but say you bought like a really nice expensive bean, you can save this in there. And the nice thing is if that bean is ever re-released, you'll have a grind setting thing based off your grinding, all the information and be able to repurpose the great quality shot that you had a year ago before. Um, which is probably one of the reasons why I will try to use it a little bit more. Um, but here's the, here's the thing with it. 350 bucks is still expensive. I think it's well worth it for the price of it. I'm gonna go ahead and take, unscrew this real quick so you can kind of see it. But it replaces the entire pressure gauge. And um, the nice thing about this is this can go on E61 group heads, uh, like a rocket or a little Bianca. And it can go on a lot of things. And it looks like I got one of the screws in there. But the, basically it has this little piece and there's adapters on it where the SCP had Basically, you had to redo, like, re get a whole new metal fabricated piece based off of the device you want and unscrew it, which made it pretty expensive to go from machine to machine. Um, and I know that quite a bit because I had a Flare Pro 2, which is a different threading than the Flare 58, which is a different threading than the uh, Cafe Let Robot. And I had three of these fittings everywhere on it versus now they just give you a little metal adapter here and one little battery there. And it's about half the size as the SCP. Um, so one of the things that I didn't like about this product and to begin with is when this is on your flare, um, you have no actual pressure gauge. And the problem with that is uh, that means you have to basically, if you want a pressure readout, you have to use your phone. Um, there's no alternative method to that, um, which is a very kind of annoying experience um, for me. Uh, not every single morning I want to pull a shot with my, I'm lazy. Um, I think the flare takes a little bit more work than other espresso machines because you have to pull a lever and you have to purge afterwards. Not saying that that's a lot of work and saying that that should deteriorate you from getting a flare, but basically what it means is, um, it means it's just a little bit more work. So then when you have to pull out your phone in the process, it makes it even more work. But I do know that uh, Mikolas is working on a splitter for it. So you can have the pressure gauge and the uh, press sensor on it at the same time, meaning you don't have to use the press sensor in the app if you don't want to, and you don't have to swap it out for the pressure gauge. Um, so that's a real big plus uh, to me. I think it'll make it way more usable for me in the future so I can use it when I want to, but I don't feel like I have to use it in order to pull a shot with my flare. Um, one of the things that I do like is it does give you all the stats kind of similar to Decent. It doesn't make it like a full-fledged Decent, obviously, because it has automatic controls and a lot of other things that you get with Decent. But this is a fourth of the price of a Decent um, to get all these charts. You can share them with friends and it gives you all these things. But it does take more time and it's like way more nerdy than just pulling a shot of espresso. So this isn't something that I would recommend everybody to go out and buy, but I do think it's something that does add a lot to your experience of what you can get out of a flare. It also would allow you to kind of compare shots from machine to machine. That's why I bought the Smart Espresso Profiler to begin with, so I could pull a shot with my Flare 58 and then duplicate the exact same shot on a Cafe Let robot in order to figure out which one I would prefer based off of the same pressure, the same flow rate and all of that other stuff that goes along with it. Um, overall, I do think this actually works better than the Smart Espresso Profiler. This is not a knock on them. They have a lot of great other things that they have there and a lot of gauges and a lot of other things that um, Press Sensor currently does not have, um, which is a huge plus for them. But I felt like it connects to the phone way quicker. I had a lot of problems with that with um, the Smart Espresso Profiler when I had it. Uh, it's way cheaper. It's way cheaper to continue to adapt to your other machines because you're basically looking at one small little kind of adapter 
um, rather than replacing the entire fitting, which is kind of a bit more of an expensive process. And uh, the battery life is really good on it. And there's no, like I've, I haven't had to replace the battery on this thing yet. And I've pulled 70 plus shots um, with it and it's been holding up well. I've had no issues with that at all. Um, overall, it's been a great experience with it, but it's not something that I would recommend for everybody because you don't need it to get good quality espresso with the flare, but it is a nice bonus thing to have occasionally. Um, so if you have the means to do it, if you are interested in those statistic charts, I think that's great. I think it's really going to be more recommendable from my standpoint once it comes out, once they come out with that splitter where you can use it a little bit more. Uh, they do have this available for some other machines too, so you don't have to have a flare to use it. Um, I will be putting it on an E61 um, group head soon, um, so we'll be looking forward to seeing how that looks like. Um, I do want to do a disclosure that uh, Mikolas did send me this at a discount, and um, that was an exchange for a review. It did not. He did not see this. He doesn't know anything that I'm saying about this. As it, I've shared some of my feedback initially with him prior to, but he doesn't have any say in this video. Um, but I do want to give a, a great shout out for the fact that they. It seems like they did split well, and it seems like they're they're both innovating in their own unique ways, which I think is a great thing. And I think this is a huge benefit thing for the coffee community to be able to have uh, lower priced options in there, but also some other options that allow you to do a few other things that um, Gabor is working on at uh, Naked Portafilter. Um, and uh, yeah, it's overall, it's a great product. I have nothing really bad to say. There's those little glitches in the app, but I think that will change over time. Um, but overall, as it's launched, like about two, three months ago, give or take. Um, it's been a good experience so far. If you have any questions on this, uh, please let me know uh, in the comments below. But overall, if you're looking to add a little bit more to your flair and a little bit more experience, um, I think this is a great, great tool to help you with that. Um, and I wanna just go ahead and give a quick thank you to Press Sensor for sending, for reaching out to this me. They offered to send me one for free. Um, that I would send back to them, but I chose to go ahead and buy it before I even used the product because I knew it was going to be great. If you want to kind of mess around with the app, you can do that prior to, but keep in mind, you do need a smart scale like an Akaya to be able to do it. So the Cinco, the Pixis, um, the Lunar, the Pearl will work. It's not going to fit under a drip tray, unfortunately, but any of those things will work with it. And you do need that to utilize the app. You can't just use a normal scale with it. So in other words, your $640 flare will then go up to um, $970 for getting uh, this little piece right here. And it's gonna go up another 250, I think is what the Akai is. So it's gonna be a $1,200 machine um, when you're all said and done with it to get your scale and to get that. But overall, you're gonna get some of the best results that you can and you're going to be able to duplicate things really well you can save your favorites you can save your um, reference chart to kind of get you in the right ballpark every time you do a shot so thank you so much for watching if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and if you've made it this far please consider liking and subscribing that really helps me uh, continue to produce stuff as a youtuber and lastly i have a special video coming up about how the ultimate travel espresso setup without an outlet. So I'm gonna teach you how to make the best espresso that you possibly can without the use of an outlet. So stay tuned for that and we look forward to having you um, tune in for that video as well.